Several days ago I received the I Know Flame and uh, my today's review is devoted to this tablet. Uh, first, uh, several words about this tablet. So I Know uh, Flame is the English or European uh, version of the I Know Fire tablet. They are basically the same. So. Uh, it's the same tablet. Uh, the difference is the content of the box. Uh, the box itself is also absolutely different. So first let's take a look at the box. As you can see it's uh, black. Uh, here you can see the Renault Flame 7.0 inch uh, text. It's an final tablet. Uh, at the back we can see the uh, description of this tablet. It's fully in English language also uh, on the black background. Uh, what you can see here is that this tablet is equipped with the uh, Cortex A9 dual core 1.5 GHz CPU. It's a MLogic 8726M6 or a mix system on chip. Also, it has a 1 GB of random access memory, 16 GB of flash memory, Android 1. 0.4 operational system. It has a 7 inch IPS screen. What is specific about this screen is that it has a resolution 1280 by 800 uh, pixels. So it's a really really high resolution screen especially for the 7 inch tablets. Uh, it's an HD screen and it is very similar to uh, the screen of the Google Nexus 7 tablet. Uh, now let's take a look inside of the box. Uh, first what we can see here is that uh, screen protector especially for the flame which I received from Spimol. Also, we can see the OTG cable and the iNull HDMI cable. Uh, you won't find such cables with the Fire tablet. And uh, also we can see the manuals, a quick start guide fully in English. It's uh, I think the same as we had in the English version of Aurora. It's a warranty card also in English this time. It's a data cable, micro USB to USB and I know uh, headphones. Now let's take a look at the tablet. The tablet has a 7 inches uh, 16 to 10 uh, HD screen. Also, its design is uh, quite traditional for the iNOS tablets. It's quite simple but uh, nice. You can see the frontal 2 megapixels camera here. It's uh, the same as we had in Aurora and Aurora 2. There is also a light sensor. It's situated somewhere here. You won't see it. Uh, I checked it. It works, but I'm not sure I like the way how it works. Uh, I would say that the uh, light sensor of the uh, previously reviewed uh, Cube Mini u 30 GT works uh, better. Uh, the light sensor in the flame tends to uh, set the max brightness all the time, so I'm not sure it's the best way. Uh, but it's a software problem, so it can be uh, solved with the later firmware. 
what you can see here is several buttons, it's a home button, a volume plus and minus, and the power button. The back panel of this tablet is made of metal. With the metal back panel, the tablet is much cooler than with the plastic back panel. You have a speaker it's situated here. Uh, what is special about this tablet is that it has a 5 megapixels uh, back camera. It also has inbuilt autofocus and a uh, flash here. The quality of this camera is much better than in other Chinese tablets. It's not as good as in the uh, digital cameras of course and it's worse than uh, the cameras of uh, top modern smartphones but it's uh, much much better than the 2 megapixels cameras of most Chinese tablets. So you can use this camera for the operational photo. It's not very good but it's not as ugly as uh, most of the other tablets photo cameras. What you see on the left panel of this tablet is the microphone here, it's a headphones jack, uh, mini HDMI, micro SD slot, uh, micro USB for OTG and data, and the uh, DC jack. Now it's time to turn on this tablet. What you can see here is uh, much better than in all previous Chinese tablets HD 7 inch screen. As I already said it's an IPS screen so the viewing angles are uh, perfect of course. Uh, and this screen has a resolution of uh, 1280 pixels by 800 pixels. It's absolutely the same resolution as the 15.4 inch uh, display of my notebook. You can see it in the background. Uh, what else is special about this tablet is that it has a 5000 mAh uh, 3.7 volts uh, battery. So this battery uh, with the M-Logic uh, system on chip, uh, it's rather powerful but it has a rather good uh, power saving features allows this tablet to work from uh, about 6 hours under the high load to uh, 10 and even maybe 12 hours uh, with the low brightness of the screen and the low uh, load of the GPU and CPU. Also this tablet uh, has not only Wi-Fi but it uh, can be also uh, connected to any Bluetooth devices, including the uh, mobile phones and smartphones, wireless headphones, including the GPS modules, and so on. You can see the speed of the interface. The interface is quite fluent here. Uh, maybe it's not as fluent as in the Rockchip 3066 tablets, but it is still um, quite acceptable. Now let's check the touch screen of this tablet. Again, uh, I can say the touch screen is very, very good. Um, actually, it is perfect. As you can see, no problems here. 
the sincerity of the touch screen is very very good. Uh, now let's check the brightness of the screen. Um, as I already said, it can be regulated automatically, uh, but the automatic regulation works not so very well. Uh, the maximum brightness is really high. Uh, this tablet is equipped with the uh, newer version of the screen. It's a TM screen, not QM screen, which was installed in the uh, um, previous version of the Fire tablet. Uh, there is no noise, there is no uh, blinking on this screen. The white color is very white, the brightness is uh, very very high. Uh, the viewing angles are perfect as I already said. The only minor problem is the uh, brightness of the black background. It's also not so low, so the uh, contrast is not perfect. I would say I uh, saw uh, some other tablets with a, a better contrast, but generally the screen is uh, very very good. Uh, I would say it's the best screen uh, of the uh, Chinese tablets I have seen. Uh, the screen is made by the uh, Taiwanese manufacturer, it's a Chimei in the Lux, and uh, it has no dead pixels and no other problems. Now let's check the root of this tablet. Uh, I have to say this tablet is rooted uh, out from the box, so you don't have to root it separately. What you can see here, you can uh, enable or disable the Wi-Fi module, the Bluetooth module. The display can be the brightness uh, can be changed automatically the storage memory here is uh, 16 gigabytes and we have 12.3 gigabytes available the battery is very very good as I already said You can see the Android version installed is 4.0.4, uh, it's uh, not 4.1.1, uh, but the jelly bean is uh, coming in several weeks, I think. What else is interesting, this tablet comes with the Feio uh, firmware installed already, uh, so the a famous model for the INOL tablets fail was hired by the INOL, I think, to make the uh, custom ROM for the uh, English version of the Fire, for the Flame. In the CPU mode settings, we can change the performance of this tablet. So there are three modes it's a power saving up to 800 MHz normal up to uh, 1.2 gigahertz and the performance mode it's up to 1512 megahertz check the languages as you can see there are about 20 languages in this tablet it's not the full range of languages available in the android but we have what we have. Uh, now let's check the Wi-Fi signal. Uh, the Wi-Fi signal in this tablet is very high. Uh, it's the best uh, by far. So it's about a minus 32 dBm for my home network. And you can see several other networks here. Uh, these results 
are better than in any other tablets I uh, checked before. It's even better than in Honda VI30 Dual Core. Now let's check the internet. As you can see, it's rather fluent. Maybe it's not so fluent as uh, in the previous tablets based on the uh, Rockchip 3066 uh, because this tablet has a higher resolution of the screen. But on the other hand, it's uh, perfect for the internet because the resolution of the screen allows you to use any sites. Uh, you don't have to scroll very much and the uh, performance is still quite good as you can see now let's check the play store I didn't find uh, the problems here and I could find all the programs I needed. Now let's check the YouTube application. As you can see, no problems here. The HD video runs quite well. Oh, fire, hold on. The deciding factor was that green shot one of the friend. Okay. Yeah, if like there was a video game where actually you had to like explain to the family you killed that person. So now let's check the Google Maps. Now it's time to check the performance of this tablet. First let's run the N2 to benchmark. I won't run it 
right now as you can see it's about 7900 points it's a bit less than for uh, the Aurora 2 uh, the flame has a higher CPU frequency, it's 1512 uh, MHz uh, versus the 1320 MHz in the Aurora, but it has a 67% uh, higher resolution of the screen, so its total score is a bit lower than uh, for the Aurora. But it's quite acceptable still, it's almost 8000 points and all the subtests uh, show rather good results. Except the 3D graphics subtest, uh, we'll talk about it a bit later. Uh, now let's check the quadrant. As you can see, it runs quite fluent. I would say the quadrant is a bit obsolete for today. It doesn't show the real performance of the modern tablets. But still you can see the quite good result. It's um, for thousands, 238 points. Let's take a look at it. As you can see it's better than Transformer Prime and a bit worse than HTC One X. And this is uh, a real performance of this tablet. Now let's run the three-dimensional test. And here it comes, the drawback of this tablet is a comparatively slow three-dimensional graphics. Uh, I use the base mark Taiji as one of the best three-dimensional tests for today because it uh, reflects the uh, quality of the picture for the uh, mainstream uh, today's uh, three-dimensional games. It uses a rather good textures, it uses a rather good geometry a little bit of shaders and as you can see the result is 15.3 frames per second. Unfortunately it's almost uh, three times lower than my previous tablet which I tested about a week ago. It was the Cube Mini uh, U30GT with the Rock Chip 3066 and the a much lower resolution of the screen, but still as you can see the results are not so good. Now let's test the Nanomark. As you can see it's about 34 frames per second. It's also uh, much lower than almost 60 frames per second in the cube and other rock chip tablets. It is also much lower than uh, we had in the Aurora 2, in the Honda U30 GT and most of the other tablets. Unfortunately the high resolution of the screen makes this tablet not the best choice for the three-dimensional games. And now let's check the games. First, let's check the heavy games. 
and it's a death trigger. As you can see, this game uh, runs uh, it's not fluently, but it's still acceptable. You can play it if you like, but I cannot say it's uh, as fast as uh, desired. It's still playable but it's not so fluent, unfortunately. Now let's run the alternative warrior. Another heavy game. As you can see it loads quite fast. This game is also uh, rather heavy, but as you can see it's also playable on this tablet. So the game is playable. And it's even rather fluent, but of course it's not as fluent as on the uh, rock chip tablets with the Mali 400 MP4, uh, because uh, this tablet has also the Mali 400 uh, GPU, but it's uh, Mali 400 uh, dual core. It's Mali 400. MP2. So, of course, it's about two times slower than the uh, Mali 400 MP4 in the uh, ROG chip system and chip.
Angry Birds is not a problem for any of the latest tablets. So as you can see, it runs absolutely fluently also on the animal flame. The picture quality is perfect. So, for most of the casual games, this tablet is a really good choice. And now maybe it's time to make some conclusions. I have to say that the Animal Flame is a really good tablet. It has almost no drawbacks. Uh, it has a perfect screen, a very good resolution and it uh, has a very good quality because it's the latest, the modern IPS screen uh, also, this tablet has a very good battery. It's uh, better than for most of the even 8-inch tablets and it's the best among the 7-inch tablets. It has a couple of good cameras. The frontal camera is the same as in the Aurora 2 and it's the best among the other uh, Chinese tablets. The back camera is also the best for the Chinese tablets. This tablet has a really good build quality. It uses the good materials. It has a metal back panel. It uh, not all only looks good, but it also makes the tablet uh, a bit cooler. Uh, the performance is quite good because it uses a dual core 1.5 gigahertz uh, CPU. The uh, GPU of this tablet is not the fastest for today. It's a Mali 400 MP2, uh, so-called dual core GPU. It's not the best choice for the three-dimensional games, but it still uh, runs most of uh, today's games quite fluently. So it is capable to run the games, but if you are a gamer, it's better to choose uh, the other tablet with the lower resolution of the screen and better based uh, on the Rock Chip 3066. Also this tablet has a perfect touch screen. Uh, actually it has almost no drawbacks. Uh, among the problems, I can say it has not the perfect indicator of the battery, uh, but you can use the uh, programs like uh, the battery monitor widget, uh, which uh, can show the uh, voltage of the battery. So we can see uh, now it's about um, 3,917 millivolts and 75% of the battery. Uh, it's a correct uh, indication, but sometimes when you uh, turn off the screen and then turn on it again, the uh, battery indication runs uh, up, so it may add 8 or 10 percent and then the indication will be not correct. But also it's a software problem so uh, maybe um, the situation will be improved with the later firmwares. Also I don't uh, like the work of the light sensor in this tablet. In Cube uh, U30GT Mini it works uh, a lot better, but also it's a software problem, so it may be improved by the 
next firmware. The production of flame started uh, much later. Then the production of the fire tablet it's about three or four uh, weeks later. So some uh, childhood illnesses of the fire are already uh, corrected in this version of the Inol flame tablet. So this is a good choice for a comparatively uh, low price. And that's it for today. Thank you for attention.